Before we introduce the mechanics of matrix multiplication, I would like to give you an illustration of where all of this is going. The point of this video is not to understand the little details, but to walk away with a big picture. And part one of the big picture is that we're treating all the matrices involved as whole, indivisible objects. In particular, we won't be making any references to the individual entries of any of these matrices. Part two of the big picture is that we're using our algebraic way of thinking. We will denote this large matrix by the capital letter A, the matrix of the unknowns by the lowercase x, and the right-hand side by the lowercase b, as we did in the previous video. And just to review what we talked about then, is that this immediately reminds us, structurally or algebraically, of the simple system Ax equals b, such as 5x equals 4, or 10x equals 10. And these simple systems we know how to solve, at least when a is not zero, and the solution is b over a. So we're inspired by this, and what we're trying to do is develop matrix algebra in such a way that we can say that the solution to the matrix equation is b over a. So our goal is to build up a framework where b over a especially this over A part, is meaningful. So for that, we need to define what matrix multiplication means and what matrix division means. And then we would be able to say that the solution to this system is indeed B over A. Now, just one remark regarding the notation. For reasons that will become evident soon, instead of writing B over A, we will be writing A inverse B which of course is the exact same thing when we're dealing with ordinary numbers, but is a little bit more important when we're dealing with matrices. So instead of writing B over A, we will be always writing A inverse B. And we can restate our goal as defining what A inverse means. Now, all computer systems that deal with matrices understand what matrix multiplication means and understand what A inverse means. So I will now use this computer system to illustrate this functionality. Let me erase this, make a copy of our system, and using the language of matrix algebra, state that the unknown matrix equals A inverse B. And now all I have to do, now that I have this expression highlighted, is evaluate it. And the answer is 1, 1, 1, which, of course, you can make sure is correct. So we obtain the answer in a single click. That is not to say that the calculation was simple. What happened in the background is Gaussian elimination. All we did was give the computer the signal to perform Gaussian elimination, but we did it in the language of matrices, which is very effective and beautiful language. Matrix multiplication also gives us a good way of testing whether this is the right solution. All we need to do is multiply the matrix A by this matrix and make sure that once we carry out this matrix multiplication that we get the right-hand side 6, 15, 25. Let's see if we do. Single click. And yes, indeed, this matrix product is 6, 15, 25. So what's happening here is that we're still talking about a linear system of equations. We're still talking about decomposition. There is still Gaussian elimination happening in the background. But we're now talking about everything in terms of matrix multiplication and in the language of matrix algebra, which is very flexible. Now, if I may do one final illustration, let me switch back to a system that we considered when we were talking about Gaussian elimination, this system and make sure that the answer we obtain here is indeed the correct answer. Now we can make sure of that once again in the language of matrix products. So let us multiply the matrix in the problem by the matrix that represents the solution. And the result should be just the right-hand side that we saw above, which is minus four, minus 16. And of course, alpha, beta, and gamma should all go away because this product must equal the right-hand side 
for any values of alpha, beta, and gamma. Because this is the part, the null space, that yields zero, and this delivers the right-hand side. Let's see if that indeed takes place. So highlighting this expression and evaluating it yields minus 4 minus 16, which is the correct right-hand side. So there you go. Matrix multiplication is a wonderful thing. So let's figure out what it is.